Good evening, everybody. Happy Wednesday to everyone out there. Welcome to the Chain Movers Podcast. Welcome back. As usual, I'll be your host, Chad, and with me is my lovely co-host, Lacey. Welcome back, Lace. Thanks, thanks. An extended hiatus we had. Yeah. It just got too busy. Oh. Too busy. We're sick. Oh, super sick. Still kind of sick. You yeah. more than me, but yours hit later. Yeah, I was, I don't know, three or four days. Three days probably behind you. Must be the Omicron. <laughs> yep, Rona's flaring up, <laughs> like you like to say. <laughs> Damn, COVID's flaring up. So I got ruled out for 14 days. Couldn't uh, couldn't do the podcast. Is that when we were out? Yeah, around there, around Holy two, almost two up. weeks. Yeah. Yeah, it was busy, and then, yeah, we were oh. damn sick. Fuck. It's been so busy. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Lacey. Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry Christmas to all of you. Yeah. It's a little... Uh, a little late, but... Yeah. A little <laughs> late, but better late than never, as they say. That's right. Right? Yeah. <laughs> cold enough for you? Yeah, it's <laughs> fucking cold enough for me. I don't know about you. Yeah, she's cold. This is me when I when I look at the forecast every day. I know. Like we haven't been above minus twenty eight for well, I don't know since the twenty third. Yeah. It's been five days now with this bullshit. Yep. Yeah, it's been cold. And you know, and minus twenty eight doesn't sound bad. You throw that wind in there. Minus forty eight, minus fifty one. Yeah. This is the shit we're dealing with now. That's cold. Yeah, it's stupid. For our American friends, that's Celsius. Yeah, well, it's about the same. I think. Oh yeah, right. Of, once it gets 40. that yeah. low, yeah, they can relate then. Yeah. Oh, it's been ridiculous. Yesterday felt nice. Posted a screenshot right? of uh, the weather network to our Twitter for our American followers because I don't think a lot of them believe. No. How they cold don't know, it gets. They don't know what cold is. And society still functions. Right. Right. Oh, yeah. Nothing was shut down. or No. 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 Just keep on rocking. Yeah. You know? Oh, but I've been in this house for a long time. <laughs> yeah, we haven't left. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> We've been outside a little bit. Yeah, not much. Get, getting some wood. That's pretty much it. Yeah, that's about it. And your fucking hands freeze doing that. <laughs> like, and you're outside for five minutes. Yeah. It's stupid. But what do you do? Lace. <sighs> There's so much. Oh. I'm not going to dive into everything. I'm just going to dive into the big stories. Um, one I missed on here, but um, let me just jot it down quick so I don't forget about it. Okay. 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 But you know what? Let's start out with, uh, well, this one happened right after our last show. Right. This is crazy, actually. I know what you're going to say. Urban Meyer fired. <laughs> About time Shad Khan did his thing and got rid of him. Cut him right out of the equation. Yep. To this day, Urban's still blaming the team. No. Yeah. No. It's, it's everyone else's fault but Urban's. Really? That, that he was fired. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Of course. So, so good riddance, Urban Meyer. Um, you might have a tough time finding a job in college. No. I would think so. After this fiasco. Yeah. This was a nightmare for them. What an asshole. Oops. <laughs> what an asshole. It's yeah. crazy. It was like, what was it? Like half an hour after we ended the show? Yeah, it come out that he was fired. Yeah. yeah. So It was crazy. <laughs> so for those of you that, well, it was posted to our Instagram right away. And yeah. so I think a lot of people follow it just for that updates, right? Yeah. So, Thank goodness. And then we talk about it here, but it hasn't turned around the Jag season. They've, they're 2-14 and 14, and I didn't think it would. Nah, it's too the late. team's just not very good. Yeah, and it's too late. Let's be honest. Yeah, and you're trying to implement yeah. now a new head coach. Yeah, three quarters of the way through the season. Yeah, I mean, okay, rattle off four wins. Where's it put you? Still in the bottom of the AFC yeah, South. Yeah, exactly. So you, you may as well get a good pick. Yeah, right. And it looks like they're actually trying to tank. So oh. like they're just horrid. They lost James Robinson. He tore his Achilles, I believe. God, that would hurt. So that team is just. A mess, but they maybe next year <laughs> they've cut out the tumor, right? So now let's start chemo. Yeah, great. Right. What do you think of that analysis? Yeah, I like that. Pretty good, right? Yeah. Um. Yeah. Urban Meyer gone. 
Big news today, Lace. Huge news. The remainder of the World Junior Tournament has been canceled. Oh! In COVID crazy Canada, where <laughs> COVID dominates the entire landscape, nowhere else in the world is, well, Australia is pretty bad, but um, yeah, they kiboshed it. Really? No more. No more. So. Starting now. today? Yeah, it's done. Send everybody home. So. Well, that sucks, doesn't it? Yeah. Everyone was uh, testing positive, but I believe there was zero hospitalizations due to it. So, pretty big ordeal. Better shut it down. Unbelievable. Yep. It's just unbelievable. Feel for those guys. Double IHF. What are you doing? But it probably they were probably getting heavy heat from the country, from Canada. Because yeah. it's just, it's a joke. Well, I've seen the women's. Do they play at the same time? Yeah, there's this U18, I think. Though, yeah. Is what everyone was <laughs> in up in arms about. Right. Because yeah. it was a no go right from the start. Mm -hmm. And they were going to play the other ones, and what a mess. I see more people defend hockey than their fundamental human rights, <laughs> which is a weird is situation so weird. in this country, man. Like, everybody needs to have a good fucking look in the mirror because there's petitions going around about this mm -hmm. female. Not that it's not a worthy tournament. This has nothing to do with the female hockey. No. It's a situation. Yes. It's that like, it's hockey at all. You can't go in here without a paper, but we're canceling this tournament. <gasps> <laughs> Oh, inject this or you can't go to your job. Oh, okay. Oh, but we're not going to have this tournament. <gasps> How dare you? Let's start a big fucking petition about this tournament. Like, come on, people. Give your heads a shake. The yeah. Hockey will be there in three, six months a year. Right. It will be there. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> Unbelievable. Anyway, World Juniors canceled Oof. on this COVID topic. Uh, it's seeped into the U.S. Bowl games. Football bowl games are being canceled all over the place, Lacey. Wow. Yeah, all over the place. We've had five canceled so far. The Hawaii Bowl, the Military Bowl, the Fenway Bowl, the Arizona Bowl, and the Holiday Bowl. UCLA pulled out of the Holiday Bowl game, which was supposed to be played tomorrow, this morning. Their opponents, not impressed. Yeah, no kidding. Not impressed at all. Yeah. Like, this is ridiculous. So, I assume, because, like, before, when you did shit like this, you got fined, right? Or It wasn't I really would... an option. Right. But if you, you, you were worked to all do year it, to play in these bowl games, so. Yeah, if you were to do it. But I assume there's, like, no problem now. If you don't want to play, you just don't play. Weird that it was uh, UCLA. Yeah. From California. Where they're as crazy as Canada for COVID. Right. Someone sneezes and shut the whole fucking thing down. <laughs> yeah. Like it's stupid. <laughs> it's beyond stupid. Uh, um, Lacey NHL is back tonight. Full force? Full force. Congratulations. Now, I've heard grumblings. You can't get away from COVID, so I have to talk about it. <laughs> um, so the NHL shut down for... Right. I don't know, three days. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> that cures everything. Um, but supposedly January 1, there's no, they're not going to allow cross-border play anymore. So I don't know if these Canadian teams are fucked now moving forward or what right. the story is. I have to look into it some more. But Yeah, how are they going to do that? I don't know. Again. It's, yeah. <laughs> it's so dumb already it's so stupid but whatever any excuse to lock something down seems like to be the play these days yeah so does. yeah but anyway nhl back tonight so just for a few days Are you happy really about that? well whatever what do you mean well come first you can't cross oh, the border yeah so yeah i don't know what's gonna happen even, there why even bring it back but i assume the season's done well, yeah, and now vaccinated people are outweighing the unvaxxed and going into the hospital. and Right. I but see now the too. excuse is that there's more vaxxed people, so that's why there's more. Oh. Yeah, but shouldn't you yeah. not be going to the hospital if you're vaxxed already? Right. 
<laughs> I don't know. The whole thing confuses it's me. It's just I'm a fucking confused. house of cards, and it's <laughs> yeah. just teetering, and hopefully one day it collapses, but whatever. Uh, sad news, Lace. Some very sad news we have. Uh, John Madden. <clears throat> We need a better sad one because yeah. that's like a mocking sad yeah, one. Yeah, and it's actually and It sad. shouldn't be a mocking thing. Uh, John Madden passed away yesterday. Very influential man in football. Um, age 85. 85 years of age. Suddenly. So sad. He was in decent health, supposedly. Was he? So, he was yeah. a big man. So, big man, yes he was. Yeah. yeah. Well, that normally makes a difference. Super right? influential. And like, how many kids did he get onto oh. the game? The Madden games. Yeah. I mean. Right. Like, it's it's so huge, right? Yeah. And he called the first ever Super Bowl, I believe. Wow, really? Yeah. Well, I didn't know that. He was born in 39, so the yeah. Super Bowl is 63. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So, wow. Yeah. John That's Madden sad. passed away. Age 85. And this is a little bit of old news, but in case someone hasn't heard Lace, NHLers will not be attending the Olympics this year. Guess why? I'm going to guess COVID. Hey, you're <laughs> right. Uh, not very happy, a lot of NHLers, yeah. about this. And, it's like uh, a big deal for those guys, too. I think they put on, well, your, put on your country's jersey. I think, a, I think a lot of people are... If you ask a lot of guys, honestly, off the record... They would say it's a way bigger deal than winning the Stanley Cup. Right. And I get that. Oh, yeah, for sure. I get that. So. I would say. (laughs) Yeah. (sighs) No, yeah, I get it too. So, yeah, NHLers out in the Olympics. So it's just going to be trash. (laughs) Why don't they just fold up the Olympics? Yeah. All the diplomatic boycotts of it anyway. Just fold her up. Right. Fuck it. Don't have them. So this would be two years then. So right? how, how can we have Olympics without having the World Juniors? Well, and if you can't cross borders again, how are you getting there? How can they cancel bowl games when NFL games are a go every Sunday? That too. Where's the money? Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. Where's the money? So, yeah, ridiculous. And uh, last but not least, Lace, uh, we had a reporter in China catch up with Peng Shui when she oh. was out in the public. Okay. Uh, she looked very shell shocked when someone actually approached her about this, and and I should put a link to it on on our pages. I will after okay. the show. Um, it was a very very bizarre. It's interview. like she didn't know what was going on. Uh, yes and no. They would ask her a question, and she would always say, "I didn't understand." What was that? Sorry. Like, there's very few people around. Okay. So it's like she's taking time to formulate her response oh. every time, right? And it's like the lady is speaking, I don't know if it's Chinese or Mandarin whatever or whatever it was, yeah. right? And she's like, sorry, what was that? I didn't understand the question. And it's like, well, this is a pretty basic question. Really? It's like, so do you think she's waiting for a response from someone else? Well, I mean, who knows who is behind the reporter? You know, I mean, there could have been someone looking, you know. Right. Guaranteed, she doesn't go anywhere without eyes on her now. Oh, yeah, for so, sure. Yeah, for sure. I mean, it's. Uh, I'll post the link. You can make your own uh, um, judgment. Yeah, opinions Opinion. based on what you see. Um, I, I thought it was very bizarre. Hmm, that is bizarre. But people I mean, might think I'm bizarre though too. Me too. <laughs> so maybe she's just a bizarre lady. She is, in fact, a lot, <laughs> which was a big step in the right direction. That's right. That's true. Um, I mean, if you're alive and under 24 hour surveillance for what you say and do. How bad do you want to be alive anymore, yeah. I guess? Yeah, is right? that fun? I don't know. Who knows? Maybe that's not even what's happening. Yeah. Maybe she's free roaming, free wheeling around China. Yeah, I maybe, don't know. Maybe she's just awkward and dopey. No, that's not happening. <laughs> Chinese aren't dopey like like me, like the Western world <laughs> where you have some really dumb, dumb asses, you know? Who you don't understand they actually questions. Like, they like take pride in their education and stuff like that. Yeah. Not like here. Yeah. <laughs> we have a bunch of dumbasses running around. <laughs> well, it's true. Yeah, it is. I met some pretty dopey people in my day. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Not going to name any names. Poitras. But... <laughs> <laughs> but no, seriously. Um, 
Yeah. I'll, I'll post a link. I'll find it for you. I'll post a link. <coughs> you guys watch it. You be the judge. Mm-hmm. And then maybe nothing at all is going on. Yeah. I found it very fishy. Um, Lace, do you know what time it is now? Locks and upsets. It's I time bet. for locks and upsets. You guys didn't get any locks and upsets from us last week. <coughs> <laughs> which is okay because I think we're down to like fifth string quarterbacks now in the NFL. <laughs> so uh, things are getting a little fucking squirrely out there. Uh, Ian Buck started for the Saints <laughs> the other night. If you're wondering why you've never heard of Ian Buck, that's because nobody has. He's never been in the NFL? No. Fourth round pick <laughs> and I don't even know what year. Uh, Notre Dame quarterback. Yeah. Yeah, it didn't play very well. His first ever pass attempt was pick six. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. No, second. Second ever, yeah. Yeah, yeah that sucked. I actually felt sorry for him. Yeah, I mean, you got all your family in attendance. Oh, and yeah. Bang. <laughs> Welcome to the NFL, bud. Yeah, pick six. Saints lost that game to Miami. Yeah, yeah. and I don't know. like Miami's won seven in a row. I was asking you about this. Yeah, good job. <laughs> That's um. pretty good. That's the second longest winning streak in the league. Oh. Who has the first? Kansas City Chiefs with eight straight oh, wins. I was going to say that, and then I was okay. like, no, I can't. You're going to ask me about what, sir? Mm, I forget. Speaking of dopey. Oh, boy. What were we talking about? Peng oh, Shui? no, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, like, I feel like like when they started listing off in that Saints game, like, the guys that have never played an NFL game before, Lots. you know, there was... And like the Saints a, are especially oh. depleted. Miami's been relatively healthy. It was the Saints that they were talking yeah. about. It's like this lineman, this, you know, like. And the Saints are still in the hunt that for is a playoff insane. spot, which is nuts. Their defense yeah. has been lights out. What are they now? And and that was such They're a seven huge and eight, game. I believe, right now. And so. I think they had figured it out a thirty-seven percent chance of them making the playoffs. That was if a massive they, game. For it them. was. Yeah. It was a massive game for Miami too, though. Because they're right on the bubble, right? Well, even with that win, though, they're still at like 30 some. Like, it would have bumped the Saints to like a 64% chance. Well, we'll get into that in okay. a bit. Well, anyway, I actually felt really bad for the Saints. Do you know how old? Like, I'm starting to feel old. You are old. I looked up. <laughs> I looked up how, <laughs> how old Sean Payton is. And what did you conclude? Well, I remember he used to be young. Okay. You know? And it was like, oh, he's like a young what coach. What is he, 57? Yes. Is he 57? Yes. Oh, that's a good guess. That was a good guess. But isn't that crazy? <laughs> now you're too excited about that. That was pretty guess. good. That was, a, that was a pure guess. He's starting to look old, though. Well, and that's why I looked it up. Because I was like, oh, boy. like either His face he's, is starting yeah. to droop. And, and I'm yeah. like, oh, he's looking rough. I thought it was like a weight That's long, a tough job. I don't care yeah. what anybody says. You put in a lot of time. Yeah, I was just a shocked. lot of time. Like that guy probably lives at the stadium. Oh, for sure. When yeah. I, and then when I looked it up, and I was like, oh god. And imagine yeah, this here. Oh, fun fact about that game and about Sean Payton. Sean Payton has had five starting quarterbacks since he's been in New Orleans. He's had four this season. Damn. Imagine coaching that. Yeah. Like because what a nightmare. Taysom Hill was not running the Jameis Winston offense. Mm-mm. And Ian Book is not running the Taysom Hill offense, and so on and so forth. And Jameis wasn't is... running the Drew Brees offense, and and he keeps going and going, right? Simeon. Trevor Simeon, yeah. I don't, I don't know what he was doing. <laughs> Screen passes and then a couple Hail Marys. He played his own game. Just run the fucking ball. <laughs> anyway. But yeah, regardless, wow, we got off on a tangent there, yeah. Lacey. We're, we got to get back to locks and upsets. Well, I, I was just saying, like, I felt really bad for the Saints. It was such a huge game. Like, call it, or let them play. They're all big. Sake. They're all big. Especially, yeah, that's right. well, the Saints are at least in the NFC. The AFC is ridiculous. Yeah. How close it is right now. Right. It's stupid. So, if someone and goes down with COVID. We'll get into that. So, okay, um, ready. Okay, Lace, uh, locks and upsets. Do you want me to start? Sure. Ready for my lock? Yep. Chad's lock of the week is the New England Patriots minus 15 and a half. Over those lowly Jacksonville Jaguars. Wow. You can take that to the bank. Okay. That's a good one. Okay, Lace. <laughs> and you are... Let's get your lock out of the way. All right. I'm taking the Kansas City Chiefs over the Bengals. Five. Five even? Yeah. Ooh. 
the way the Chiefs have been playing, I don't hate that. That's kind of what I thought. And They've been that last very, game that we watched. Very good. It's like holy crap. Yeah. What against the Chargers? When the they went game. to overtime? No. Against the Raiders, when they blew about forty-eight to nine. No, oh, no. It was it the Chargers? The, no. the last game they went to was overtime, was it not? No, we talked no. about that 48-9 Yeah. Game. Yeah. No, they played someone just... Who did the Chiefs play last? We just watched it. They just smoked them. They've been smoking everybody. Yeah. Other than the Chargers. <laughs> Who's on your list? Or do you have them on there? I don't have all the scores, no. Oh. No, yeah. I don't. Hmm. Oh, I don't, I don't know. know. I don't know. You think a guy would remember, but I got two weeks worth of shit floating around yeah. in my head. So I can't remember who they were playing either. Makes it a little tricky. But okay, Lace, you ready for my upset? Yep. Are you? Someone's gonna blow your mind. Okay. Remember, this is against the spread. Yes. All these locks and upsets are against the spread. That's I'm right. taking the Houston Texans plus twelve and a half over the 49ers. I looked at that one. I like it actually. Texans. Davis Mills has been playing really well yeah. the past two or three weeks. The 49ers will win the game, but they're not going to cover. cover. No, I bet you it's like a five, six point game. Yeah. Yeah. I looked at that one. So, like, that's pretty Jimmy good G's out this upcoming week. Oh, is he? Yeah, he's hurt. I don't love him anyway. Trey, he's better than Trey Lance. Oh, for sure. Yeah. And Trey Lance is going to start. Yeah. So, I, I like Houston this yeah. week. No, um, I don't hate that. There you go. Take that shit to the bank all day. I don't hate that one. Okay, Lace, who's your upset? Ready? Yep. I am going to oh, just, boy. this is against the spread again. Yes, it's always against the spread. Yep, just a reminder. Wow! Um, I don't <laughs> you think didn't this, even say it yet. <laughs> I don't think the Saints will cover. Seven. Wow! Over the Panthers. Uh, Panthers are starting Sam Darnold, not Cam this week. Oh. The cam experiment is over. That's too bad. Unfortunately, but that's too bad. So you're taking Carolina plus seven. That's correct. Okay. Plus seven. The Saints just look bad. Their offense is horrible right now, but well, and their defense didn't play well. What do you expect? They they shut out the box like two weeks ago. (laughs) They won nine nothing. Okay, they looked bad last whenever they played. The Saints are Tom Brady's kryptonite. (coughs) That and Eli Manning. Yeah. Those are his two kryptonites in this world. <laughs> it doesn't he matter is who plays. horrible against the Saints. Yeah. They always show up to play him, though. It's crazy. Like, Sean Payton must just spend hours watching Brady footage. Yeah, maybe he does. Because he's got him figured out. Yeah. So, yeah, they shut out the box. I, was, I think that was like two weeks ago. Yeah. Now. Yeah, it was nuts. Well, they so, last week. Well, there you go, Lace. Locks and Upsets brought to you by the Chain Movers Podcast. There you go. Your one-stop sports shop. <laughs> For everything sports, tune into the Chain Movers podcast. Live every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Starting now. <laughs> yeah, we're back. We're back full time now. So. Okay, Lace, we've been talking a lot about the NFL positioning. Uh-huh. So I'm not going to go through every game over the past two weeks. If you didn't watch any football over the past two weeks, that's on you. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's your fair. own fault. Yeah, that's fair. And it's partly my fault because I haven't been on the air. Right. But let's let bygones be bygones and move on. We're approaching week 17 in the NFL. Yeah. Every game is huge now. Yeah. Literally. So let's go through the standings first and foremost. Let's sure. start with that AFC East lace. At the top, we've got Buffalo and New England both at 9-6. and six, But now Buffalo owns a tiebreaker in that one. Mm. Yeah. Right, right. I don't know how <laughs> because they've split the season series, so it must be margin of victory. It's my guess because they just beat the Pats the other day. Oh, I can't remember. 34 7? Is that what it was? Yeah, I don't remember. They beat up on them pretty good anyway. So, yeah, yeah, they got their revenge um, from that windy game that New England ran the ball 8,000 times (laughs) and beat them. Yeah, that one? Yeah. Uh, Third, we got those Miami Dolphins lace at 8 7. We're talking about what a massive game that was. I mean, let's be honest. Miami could slide into a three-way tie for first That's crazy. in the AFC East. And wow. a fun fact about this year's Dolphins, no team has ever lost seven and then won seven back-to-back oh. like that, ever. It's never happened in a season, nonetheless, back-to-back. Really? So, yeah. Huh, that's kind of neat. <clears throat> so, that's impressive. Yeah, it is impressive. But Miami doesn't have 
the depth to make a playoff run, honestly. Yeah. I mean, they find a way to win so far. But Brian Flores, great coach. I like Brian mm-hmm. Flores. But they just don't have enough talent, I don't think, even to get through the wild card round. I guess it depends who their opponent is. But, um, yeah, yeah it's, true. it's looking like they'll play. Well, and- well, it's looking like they'll probably play someone else from the AFC East. So either New England or Buffalo. Yeah. Which would be Eek. rough. <laughs> yeah. So, and then last we got the New York Jets at four and eleven, and they are eliminated. They're done. Of course they are. They were yeah. done before the <laughs> yeah, fucking right. season even started. Uh, AFC North lace. We got the Cincinnati Bengals sitting atop at nine and six. These Bengals have been looking good. Joey mm-hmm. Burrow threw for Monster over. Game. That was our first five hundred ga- yard game of the season. Yeah. Threw for five hundred twenty-five yards the other day against Baltimore. So. Congratulations, Joey B. And if I was still playing in fantasy, you probably would have won for me this week. But I'm dead in fantasy. So uh, this AFC North is nuts. Lace Baltimore eight and seven, Pittsburgh seven seven and one, and Cleveland seven and eight. Round out your AFC North. Yeah, that's nuts too. Oh that's boy! Wild. And the game's coming up this weekend. Yeah. Your head'll explode with what's coming down the pipe. Uh, AFC South, we got the Tennessee Titans at ten and five, still sitting atop there to lace. Wow. What do you think of that? That's good for you. I you guess. Bet that yet? No. The odds were shit after. Yeah, you should have bet in August. So yeah, I should have. Do you think they're going to win the Super Bowl? No, but you do. <laughs> Are they legitimate? Con- I believe they're legitimate contenders. And it just would have been such a great like to throw throw a dollar on it in August. You know what I mean? Who cares? Yeah, they were probably like <laughs> plus 2000 Right. then, right? So it paid 200 bucks. Yeah. It's pretty good value, not. if you ask me. Mm-hmm. But, but you didn't. Nobody so. did. Nobody no. did ask. Now it's too late. Everyone, you need to ask. Chad, who's going to win the Super Bowl? <laughs> Come back to me in August. I'll tell you who win the Super Bowl in 23. Yeah. That's right. I'm like Kreskin over here. Yeah, <laughs> whoever that is. <laughs> <laughs> hate when you say that i'm like kreskin but yet you never look it up i've been <laughs> i've been saying for like 10 years what do i look like kreskin and she doesn't know what it means and she will not look it up probably can't find it on google probably not. i'm terrible <laughs> at google so i drink all my coffee already mine's almost gone too but it gets cold in here yeah so i'm a bad googler okay afc so tennessee <laughs> is in first at 10 and 5 second we got the colts at 9 and 6 <laughs> They're coming off a big win of their yeah. own. Yeah, that's right. Uh, Houston, 4-11, and eliminated. And Jacksonville, 2-13, and also eliminated. <laughs> no kidding. No surprise there. Garbage division. Yeah, no kidding. It was looking real bad when uh, Indy was trash at the yeah. beginning of the year. Yeah, but. yeah. at least they've picked it up. And the AFC West, Lace, we got those Kansas City Chiefs at 11-4. and And then it turns into a real shit show. And Chargers at 8-7. and seven. <laughs> The Raiders at eight and seven, and the Broncos at seven and eight. Oh boy! Yeah, that AFC is crazy. Oof. Let's move over to the NFC lace in the oh. East. We got the Dallas Cowboys sitting there at eleven and four. Boo. Man, did they shit stomp Washington the other night? Yes. Wow. It was forty. Oh, it's... I don't know what it was. It was. What was it at the half? Forward. Forty-two nothing. Yes. Yeah. 47? No, it was 42 something. No, I'm sure it was nothing at the half. Oh, okay. The, the, game, and I think, the game finished 56 16. Or I just something. remember because your mom's like, so they're on pace to finish with 84 points. So that's why I, I so it was stick 42. out my head. <laughs> 42. <laughs> my quick math. 42, 42 times 2 is 84. Yeah, yeah, 42. <laughs> Regardless, it, it looked like a fucking high school game. Yeah, it was horrid. Like Dallas just stomped them into the ground. Well, I said it looked like there was no no defense. Like, yeah. every time that the ball was thrown, there was no one around. They just caught it and... Washington, you should be embarrassed yeah, that of was that ugly. performance. I understand you're going to lose a few games here and there, but come on. Yeah, that one was bad. It's prime time, and that's what you bring? <laughs> that was bad. Fuck. Ugly. Second, we got the Eagles in that NFC East at 8-7. and seven. Third, we got the Washington football team at 6-9. and nine. Maybe if you had a name... Maybe if you had a sense of identity, (laughs) 
maybe you would show up. Maybe that's their problem. No, no, no. They got lots of problems there. <laughs> and uh, last, we got the New York Giants at 4-11. and 11, And they're eliminated. And they play your Chicago Bears yeah, this weekend. Yeah, I was going to take them as my lock. And then I was like, oh, that How about those play. Bears, Lace? Yeah, they won. Beating Seattle. Going forward for two and getting it on the last play of the game. Guess who the QB was? Nick Foles. That's right. Nick Foles. Had an efficient day, too. Yeah, it's like, Wasn't great, like you said. Yeah. But he was good enough. Yeah. Just kind of ticks away at them. Yeah. Right? Just so nothing, when you, nothing... When you pull out the wow. Justin Fields turnovers out of the equation... Right. Maybe the Bears aren't so bad. No, they're still shit. But, I mean, they barely got by the Seahawks. And the Seahawks have been an absolute dumpster fire themselves. <laughs> so... No word on, no grumblings uh, from the Seattle camp on what's happening with Pete Carroll as of yet. Remember, I said mm -hmm. a couple months ago, I think Pete's going to be on his way out the door. Mm -hmm. But we'll see. We'll see. They're pretty loyal to Pete. Yeah. You want him a Super Bowl, right? So that pretty much grants you a blank check. And how long do you want to stay? Right. Right? So. Uh, NFC North Lace, which is turning into one of the worst divisions in football. Uh, Green Bay Packers at 12 and 3 and sit atop the NFC. The entire conference. <laughs> the entire conference. I know. Who's the most complete team in the NFL, Lace? The Green Bay Packers. That's right. I've been saying it for <laughs> weeks now. Possibly months. Maybe. I'd have to go We've back. We've been off two weeks. I'd have so. to dip into the archives. Yeah. Pull some old clips. Yeah. Maybe we'll have a New Year's highlight show. Oh boy. That sounds like work for me. Maybe I could do, uh, I could put on oh, a turban. Oh, this could be fun. I could put on a turban and have like a crystal ball. Oh. And we could pull my old clips. <laughs> and now oh, okay. what's going on today? What's oh. that machine? Remember it had the guy with the turban in it? Yeah. You could like play it or like put money in. Yeah. It was like a fortune, a question or, yeah a fortune teller guy. I yeah. can't remember what his name was though. I didn't, I didn't know yet. I could be like that. I'm sure I wouldn't get chastised beyond belief. Right. For cultural appropriation. But I think it'd be great. So maybe I'll do it. You can use this as your crystal ball. Yeah, because I don't have a crystal ball. I'm sure we have a snow globe that would work. <laughs> I can make a ball of ice. Yeah, you better keep your sh show quick. I'll just open the window in here. Oh, yeah. Uh. <laughs> well, You're mine, on your own. <laughs> well, minus 50 draft coming in. <laughs> Clear out the yeah. old sinuses, eh? That might help. Okay, enough. Okay. Let's move over to the <laughs> NFC South place. We got the Tampa Bay Bucks sitting atop at 11 and 4. Hey, you didn't finish the NFC North. Oh, yeah, I didn't. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Green Bay Packers are sitting at the top. Next, we got the Minnesota Vikings at 7 and 8, and they are still alive in the playoff hunt. They play each other, too, right? Who? This week. Green Bay, Minnesota? I believe so. Yes, they do. <coughs> You're right. <laughs> Look at me go. Wow. What the hell? I just blew your mind. Wow. Uh, third, we got the Chicago Bears lace. <laughs> Five and ten, but fresh off that big win. Yeah, big win. And, <laughs> and, and play the Giants. Last, we got the Detroit Lions at 2-12-1. and one. They're out. So are the Bears. They're mathematically eliminated as well. Oh, what? Yes. I have a little letter E beside their name, which means they're eliminated. Hmm. Shitty. It should be a capital E. Yeah, let's keep it little. Eliminated. <laughs> Fuckers. Yeah. Uh, NFC South, Tampa Bay Bucks lace sitting atop there, 11 and 4. Wow, have they got the shit beat out of them over the past couple of weeks? Yeah, hey. They've lost Godwin, ACL, lost Fournette, they've lost Evans. Uh, I don't even know who they've lost off the defensive side of the ball. AB's back, though. Oh. Which is good. Good timing. Yeah, great timing. I guess so. for everyone else being out. Yeah, he's now WR1. Right. So that works so good. He's fresh off a month's rest, too. He's going to be out there just buzzing. Oh, yeah. Imagine if I was still playing. Yeah. Probably not. What could have been, Lacey? Oh, what what could have been? been? Second, we have the Atlanta <laughs> Falcons at 7 and 8. Third, we have those New Orleans Saints at 7 and 8. How about the, the Falcons? Still live. Yeah, why? Sitting in second, they're ahead of the Saints in that a NFC South. Who did I see their matchup was? And they're just projected to be horror, to, like to get blown out. Who the uh, the Falcons? Yeah, who was it? I was sure. Mm, Buffalo. Buffalo. Yeah. Buffalo's 14 and a half. 14. 
I was like, holy shit. And last in that NFC South place, we got the Carolina Panthers at 5-10. and 10, And they are also eliminated. So. Man, remember when those Carolina Panthers started the season 3-0? Oh? Mm-hmm. And everyone was like, wow. Yeah. Maybe the Panthers are going to be something. They won two games since then. That's it. Yeah. Why is nobody bad. talking about how bad the Panthers are? I don't know. Yeah, that is weird. We love to talk about how bad Detroit is. Now, Detroit beat Arizona over this break, though, yeah. too. 30 to yeah. 12. <laughs> what the hell? That was a big loss for Arizona. <laughs> yeah. That like... one's going to come back to haunt them. Yeah. Um, Arizona has not looked good since Kyler Murray's got back. Not one little bit. No. And I'm not a Kyler Murray guy, so I'll pile on this all day. <laughs> but he's just, a, he can run. He's fast. Like, he's fast as shit. He's kind of like Lamar Jackson, but I'd take Lamar Jackson over Kyler Murray. Well, Lamar's a lot bigger. He's too. a lot lighter. He's yeah. a lot skinnier than Kyler yeah. Murray. Yeah. Arizona just has a better roster. Yeah, I agree. Honestly? Yeah. Like, Baltimore's getting to the point where, like, we got Lamar. We don't need anyone else. Well, yeah. <laughs> you do we need a running back. Now, they got decimated at the beginning of the year with injuries to their mm-hmm. running back position. Um, and Hollywood Brown's had a good year. Mark Andrews has been good. Um, but outside of that, I mean, it's amazing how bad lines are getting. Old lines. Yeah. Like, man, if I could go back and do yeah. it all over again, oh. I, would, I would have been, like, 300 pounds in high school. Oh. And I would have played old line. Yeah. Instead of D end. Because there's no way I could cut it in the NFL as a D end. <laughs> Six feet two thirty. Yeah, no, that ain't happening. Could you catch? I can catch football. Yeah. I'm not I don't like have, well. I don't exactly have the softest hands huh. in the world, but tight end type? I I don't think I'm big enough to be an NFL tight end. No, they're pretty big too. Most of those guys are like they're old basketball players. Yeah. As the an- announcers love to talk about. <laughs> Jimmy Graham. It was the worst when he yeah. was like relevant, right? Uh, yeah, that's it for anyway. the NFC South. <laughs> Fuck, we go off tangents, eh? Uh, and in the West, Lace, we got the Rams, eleven and four. Your eras or your LA Rams? You love the Rams. I just had. I just don't had, you? Well, I just had Stafford as my fantasy quarterback, so of course I was cheering for them. I needed him to put up points. But you like the Rams too i don't hate them <laughs> you like them I, they're just okay <laughs> i hated when they were in st louis though remember that any st louis team i hate yeah me too yeah, why i don't know it's like they move cities and all of a sudden it's like yeah they're okay it makes no sense i, I, hate I don't think they're gonna go deep though the no, Rams. i don't think so either. i really don't yeah i don't green know green bay who does green bay play this week do we know this yeah vikings oh yeah minnesota so they'll probably be thirteen and three, and they probably pay the, play the Bears to close out their season. I don't know. Or the Lions. It's always a divisional game. Yeah. So they they should be fourteen and three. They're going to get the first round by. And then the Rams play who this week? Do you know? Oh, Baltimore. That's a huge oh, yeah. fucking game for both teams. Arizona plays Dallas. Oh boy. That's a massive game. I can't. These are I'm, good games. I've never been excited to watch a Cowboys game. Yeah. This one I am. Um. Yeah, so the Rams, let's get through the fucking standings. Uh, Arizona is second at 10 and 5. San Fran in third at 8 and 7. And Seattle at 5 and 10. Lace. Eliminated? They're not, actually. Oh, yes, they are. Sorry. That's a lie. They are eliminated. So they must be. So. Not very often you see that happen in Seattle. Not very often at all. I don't think since I started watching football, I don't think that this... I've They've seen been this. bad? I, no. Not this bad? No. No. Losing Russ hurt, but Russ hasn't been good since he's come back Right, either. I was going to say. So, it's not like he come back and turned it around. I don't know what's going on with all these guys. Like, okay, Russ a little more than Kyler. I think Kyler Murray had an ankle sprain. Yeah. And they didn't rush him back. They sat him for like three weeks. Yeah. Yeah, so what's like, wrong? Like, come on. Yeah. This guy's playing on broken fucking foots. Yeah. Foots. Foots is... <laughs> My foots is broken. Maybe Kyler's still like a toddler. He looks like it. <laughs> when he runs, it's the funniest <laughs> thing in the world. He's so fast, but he's such a little shrimp. Yeah. He looks like a toddler. Especially compared to everyone out there, right? But he is only like 5'10". Yeah. Or yeah, I knew he was little, but... Yeah. I'm still surprised he chose football over baseball. Yeah? Mm-hmm. 
I really am. Because he was a first round pick of the A's. Oh, okay. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, I think I would. I don't know. I There's like, way bigger money in baseball. And let's be honest. To like, I like football better. But if I was an athlete, like baseball's got to be a million times easier on your body. That schedule would be a grind. What, 162 yeah. games, double headers. Maybe. You know, uh-huh. I don't know. I baseball's boring too. Oh, I agree. You know, but I was talking. If it was, if I had the choice, you would have picked football. Oh, for sure. Right. Right. People enjoy it more. But I guess it's. What do you want? Do you want money or do you want to have fun? Right. I don't think he's having fun right now. <laughs> I can't <don't> imagine <laughs> it's real fun. If I was Cliff Kingsbury, there are so many plays where I just want to grab Kyler Murray and pop his <laughs> fucking head off his shoulders. Like, all he does is pull it down and run. That's right. all he does now. Yeah. And a lot of quarterbacks are starting to do that. Yeah. Like, Kyler Murray, but he doesn't get hit very often. Because he just runs out of bounds. He'll run 85 yards to pick up two. <laughs> like, I don't Well, know. that drives me nuts. Whatever. Okay, Lace, we need to take a commercial. You're right. How long have we been? 41 minutes. What? <laughs> yeah. Oh, shit. Okay, when we come back, we're going to go through that NFL playoff picture, cover a little NBA, go over the updated standings, and, he, and some stories. A couple little stories. Nothing huge. Uh-oh. And then we got updated NHL and we're done. Okay. Okay? Yeah. So on that note, we'll be back. And we're back, Lace. We're back. Thanks we're back. for thanks for hanging around. You should have got more coffee. Well, yeah, I don't think our commercial break's quite long enough. We need a coffee pot in here. Oh, that's what we need. <laughs> can you get you know those helmets that you put the beer cans in? You want that for coffee? Yeah, can you put a coffee mouth? pot on your head? Oh. You might, fit, you might bring them up. Or you could just put a bottler on your head. Yeah, I'll just duct tape it to your head. Yeah. Well, maybe to a helmet. <laughs> or to your <laughs> Not right to my head. <laughs> You're going to burn your mouth. You can't drink coffee out of a straw. I could try. Ooh, bad idea. Maybe you could just have a little valve that you open and then close. What if you miss so and it's like... <laughs> Drowning coffee. <laughs> it's like, turn on it. live. Turn it off. I guess you could turn it off. <laughs> well, what if I miss so? <laughs> like numerous times yeah. you would drown before you'd ever figure out how to turn what the if, valve off what if I tried to pull the straw and I couldn't and I got coffee on my fingers and now I'm slipping oh I don't know what to tell you <laughs> <laughs> but I think this is a bad idea anyway it's like saw where they put that thing on their head and then they fill it with water have you yeah. ever seen that no oh. but that would suck that'd be scary well I'd hate that I'm claustrophobic anyway okay enough okay no just wait uh, another option instead of a butler on your head is just a butler on the table full of coffee. We could pour it into our cups. <laughs> I don't know. I'm trying to think efficiency here. And speaking of efficiency, we got some new equipment over the holidays that's not quite ready to rock. But it's going to be good. But this show's about to get a major overhaul. Like, major overhaul. I finally had to tell Chad, you know what? We don't need it today. I've just because been he's agonizing, getting angry. agonizing over this stuff, trying mm-hmm. to get it set up and get it all ready. I'm old. I'm not that technologically savvy. Yeah. And you have a problem with looking further into it than you need to. You don't need to look that deep. (laughs) I do. No, you don't. I need to understand (laughs) what's happening. Just put it in order. No. Just that's it. My brain don't work that way. Let it figure it out. Don't work that way. Okay. NFL playoff (laughs) picture laced. If the season ended today, here's how the playoffs would look. One, we'd have the Kansas City Chiefs in the AFC. They would hold the first round bye. Second, we'd have the Tennessee Titans. Uh-huh. Third, we'd have the Cincinnati Bengals. And fourth, we'd have the Buffalo Bills. Wow. So there's your top four. There's your division leaders. Huh. Crazy. Fifth, we'd have the Colts. Sixth, we'd have the Pats. Seventh, any ideas? No. The Miami Dolphins. Oh. It's three teams good. from the AFC East. Come on! Ridiculous. It's not going to stay that way. Miami plays Tennessee this week. Yeah, right. So, did I say Tennessee weird there? It kind of yeah. <laughs> Tennessee. <laughs> Eighth, we got the Chargers. At eight and seven. <laughs> Ninth, we got the Raiders. At eight and seven. So, the Chargers have a thirty-seven percent chance to make the playoffs at, okay. at this point. Okay? okay. The Raiders have a nineteen percent chance. Tenth, we got the Ravens at eight and seven as well. They have a twenty-eight percent chance to make it. 
Next, we got the Steelers, seven, seven, and Is one. It? They're an eleven. Yeah, the Steelers are still alive. Yeah, I don't get that. They have a fourteen percent chance to make it. Thirteenth, we got the Browns at seven and eight. They got a thirteen percent chance to make it. And last, we got Denver at seven and eight, and they have a less than a one percent chance to make yeah, the playoffs. I believe that. <laughs> so they can win out, but they need help. Yeah. They need other teams to lose, and and so on and so forth. Huh. So. That AFC, we still have two, four, six teams on the bubble. And wow. arguably Miami's still on the bubble, and so is Cincinnati. They're one game up. Right. With two weeks to go. Right. They lose, lose. They're in They're, four. Right. Right? So shit's gonna get crazy. Yeah. How about that AFC South? Tennessee and Indy. Yeah. Tennessee's only one game up on the Colts. Yeah, I remember I brought this up actually. What? Like a long time ago. What'd you say? Well, I think you asked if the Colts were a contender or pretender. And I said contender. And I think you said pretender. Did I? I don't know. I don't See, know. this is where my turban comes in. <laughs> yeah. I don't know why we need a turban. Because <laughs> but... I'm like a fortune teller. Maybe wear a football helmet. No. It's like your whole, you're a new for, kind of fortune teller. No, I'm going to roll out a new character. We even have options now. Yeah, I got a couple helmets. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So if we move over to the <laughs> NFC, first, you know who's sitting in first over there. Yeah. Who? Green Bay. That's right. Cool. Second, we got the Dallas Cowboys, eleven and four. Third, we got the L.A. Rams, eleven and four. Fourth, we got the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, eleven and four. So that rounds out your division leaders. Fifth, we got the Arizona Cardinals, ten and five. And like we talked about, they play the Cowboys this weekend. Right. Sixth, we got the 49ers, eight and seven. I don't get that one. They have a seventy-eight percent chance to make the playoffs. Really. Yeah, so that'd be three teams from the NFC yeah. West, which we've said right from the beginning was going to happen. Yeah, yeah. And seventh, this one might blow you mind. I'm not guessing. The Philadelphia Eagles at eight and seven. What? They have a 61% chance to make the playoffs. What? That's right. What a bunch of BS. Yeah. When was the last time anyone was talking about the Eagles? Never. Well, like I see them. They do have the number by. one run game in the NFL, though. What? Yeah, that's right. Oh. What do you think of that? Uh, <laughs> what was that? My mind exploding. <laughs> Your head blowing up? Yeah. Okay, so on the bubble lace, we got the Minnesota Vikings. Seven and eight, they have an 18% chance to get in. Okay. So they're not making it. Okay. Ninth, we got the Falcons. Okay. And Minnesota hosts Green Bay this weekend. Yes. So their season's done. Then we got the Falcons. They have a 2% chance of getting in. Again, what a stupid team. <laughs> Tenth, we got the Saints. What? At 7 and 8, they have a 34% chance to make the playoffs. How are all these garbage teams going to make the playoffs? And the Washington football team no. is still alive. No. At 6 and 9, they have a 6% 6 chance of making it. They got a better chance to make it than the Broncos do. Okay, so I don't understand this. Because the Bears are only one game behind them. That's right. How are they eliminated? Why? Because they, they suck. <laughs> but why are they eliminated and those assholes are still in there? Because there's no way five wins at this point in the season would ever get you in. But they only have six. But it's not five. Okay, but there's still games to play. Okay, Lacey. So, <laughs> if you want to play that game. So, Washington 6-9. and nine. So, New Orleans is only one game up on them. And they have a 34% chance versus Washington 6% chance. You want to take it a step further? No. The 49ers are one game up on the Saints. They have a 78% chance to get in. You know what I think is in. happening? I'm just angry. The more wins you have, the better your percentage <laughs> is. That's how it goes. I realize that. But I'm just angry that these garbage teams have a chance even. Like even if it's a 1% chance and the Bears are eliminated. Yeah, I can't believe Denver's still alive. But how... Okay. So the Raiders have a 19%. Well, I guess they do have one more win than them, I suppose. I, it all makes sense. Oh, if you doesn't. look at the numbers, it all makes sense. So, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Wild. Okay, that's it for the NFL lace. Okay. That's it. That's pretty good, actually. I couldn't dive too deep. There was too much. Yeah. So I just, Well, we were still 50 minutes. So maybe Friday's show, we might be ready to roll out some of this equipment. Maybe. And I'm going to have the playoff picture up. And I'm going to be able to pull teams and percentages like a touch screen, like they do on the TV. No, I, I, it won't no. be that. It won't be like that. <laughs> Say, so. uh oh, he thinks it's, this is 
It's it's gonna be good. It'll be good. It'll be good. Yeah. Okay. Let's move over to the NBA. Lace. Well, basketball. <laughs> okay. Haven't talked basketball for as long as we haven't talked football. Yes. So. <laughs> Equally as long. <clears throat> let's start with the East. <sighs> First, we got the Brooklyn Nets at twenty three and nine, still sitting atop the East. Guess who's back? Eminem. Wrong. <laughs> Kyrie Irving. Kyrie Irving will play part time. Oh. For the Nets, they will play. He will play away games. So he still can't play at home. Nope. Hmm. Nope. And probably can't play in California. Oh right. Other than that, he should be good to go. Right. So. So that's a game changer uh-huh. for the Nats, who are already a good team. Right. Now they've turned into a fucking excellent team. <laughs> so, um, second we got those Chicago Bulls lace at twenty-one and ten, and I, you know, Demar Derozan, wow, uh-huh. been great. unreal, so good this year. I assume because they were talking about him a lot. I didn't listen to what they were saying. Him but... and Levine. Great, eh? I'm interested to see what they'll do coming down the stretch. I'm not a DeMar fan. I don't know why. He's been excellent this mm, year. I'm not necessarily a huge DeMar guy. No. But he's been excellent. Okay. I'm going to tip my hat to him. Yeah. Sometimes you just have to. <laughs> well done, sir. Well done. Third, we got your Milwaukee Bucks lace. Wow. Woo! 23 and 13. Fourth, we got the Miami Heat, whose injury list. Looks like a fucking phone book at this point. <laughs> I don't know how they're doing it. Uh, they're in fourth at 22 and 13. Fifth, we got the Cleveland Cavaliers lace, who I would argue is the surprise of the season mm-hmm. so far. We're almost halfway through the season, and these guys are hanging around. Yeah. 20 and 14, sitting in fifth. And in 12th, we still have those lowly Toronto Raptors at 14 and 17, who are dealing with a COVID outbreak of their own, apparently. I looked at their starting lineup the other night, and like the only guy I recognized was Boucher. It's like, who the fuck are all these other guys? <laughs> like, no wonder you're under 500. No Scotty oh. Barnes, no Fred Van Vliet, oh no Siakam, no no one. No one. Oh, wow. Rough shape. It's just been like the G League. So what happens with that? Like, they're obviously super screwed if they can't cross the border. I don't know. I, I have to get all the lowdown on it. Like, there's I know that they there's no about way, it. no fucking way, these leagues are going to let Canada dictate what goes on. There's not a chance. There's no. too much money at stake, <laughs> and it's Canada, let's be honest. No, right. They're like, uh, no. your teams are done. Yeah. Have a good day. Yeah. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> well, You've, in Toronto, really, for them. It's good. Live on the U.S. side, then. Yeah, we'll play. You, our, we'll yeah. play our games out of Buffalo. Yeah. Fuck you. Yeah, that's so, what I would do. No problem. Yeah. Well, okay, they we played all cross. year. They played all last year in Orlando. Oh, Let's yeah, go that's back right. there. Yeah, that's right. Or anywhere, really. Yeah, anywhere. Anywhere other than Toronto. Right. Especially being the only team. Yeah. You so might as can, well. yeah, Canada. You you think you you can do whatever you Tough want? Guys. You can't. And there's gonna be a lot of very unhappy people with these bullshit. Poor shit rules. Mm-hmm. So we'll see how it plays out. We're but a mere four days away from that. Yeah, so let's see. Uh moving over to the West Lace, still sitting in first, the Golden State Warriors at 27 and 7. Second, we got the Phoenix Suns at 26 and 7. Suns have stayed really healthy through this whole have thing. They? Yeah. They lost D book to a hamstring for a bit there. No COVID. None. So Where? Phoenix? Arizona. The heat must kill it. Maybe. Maybe we should. Before they said the cold killed it. Now it's probably the heat. Oh, I thought, yeah. Hmm. Stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they don't matter. test. Maybe they have different tests. We should get all this information. I don't even want to go down that road. <laughs> How fucking ridiculous that situation is. Uh, third, we got the Utah Jazz at 24 <coughs> and 9 lace. Jazz are right in there. Yeah. Uh, fourth, we got the Memphis Grizzlies, twenty-one and fourteen. They're just coming out of nowhere, hey! Wow, I Desmond that. Bain from the Grizzlies. Yeah, that's right. That's a reaction <laughs> you're going to get from most people. Oh, okay, good. Who the fuck is that? Um, he's been with the Grizz for two or three years now. Yeah, not a making starter. a strong case. He started last year. Oh, okay. I th- yeah, did he or I don't know. Making that a names? strong case for most improved player this year. Oh, I would imagine. Dude's been lights out. I've, I so. don't know that name. The Grizz, 
Just a blue collar team. Yeah. That's what I like about him. Yeah. I like Jabba. Grinders. Too. He's good. Yeah. Yeah. I like grinders. Not scared of anyone. Don't matter. They'll come out and punch you in the face. Yeah, so. I like it. I like the Grizzlies. Uh, fifth. The, man, that West really falls off, though. Uh, fifth, Denver at 17 and 16. One game above 500. Sixth, we got your Clippers, 17 17. They lost Paul George for oh three or four God. weeks. Torn ligaments in his elbow. He'll be reevaluated three to four weeks. Yeah. And seventh, we got the Lakers. Lace at 17 and 18. Uh oh. LeBron James the has been Lakers. unreal <laughs> the past 12 or 13 games. He's averaging like 31 points a game. <laughs> he puts up a triple double every night. They're seven and six over the last 13. Ugh. Like, what else do you want from this guy? Yeah. He's like 38 years old. Like, can you imagine if they didn't have him? Oh my God. If they just had Russell Westbrook? Yeah. Because they like lost just, AD. Oh, okay. Just take him out of the team. Like, eventually wow. the guy's going to retire. But that team wouldn't so, look like it does without him. Yeah, that's right. So, an injury. Yes. Yeah. yeah. If, they, if they lose him to injury, they can put oh. up like 30 points a game. You just may as well say goodbye to your season. Oh, yeah. I yeah. Imagine. Like, he's been unreal. Lights out. <laughs> uh, Cleveland lost Ricky Rubio lace oh. last night. ACL tear. Done for the year. They are struggling at that point guard position. Yeah. Well, they lost Sexton. Now they lost Rubio. Rubio's been very good this year. Yeah. Yeah. He's just a solid guy anyway, isn't he? Looks like Wolfman out there. Uh, I don't know what he looks like. I just Big I beard, remember his name. His pony. He's got the slick oh, back pony. Oh, oh yeah. He's, I hate ponies. He's from Spain or something. Uh, is he white? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I have no idea what he looks like. You ever seen a black dude with a ponytail? Well, like, you know, <laughs> kind of. I just look it back. I never have. <laughs> just look it back. What black well, guy do no. you know that slicks his hair back? <laughs> like dreads, I mean. Or braids. Well, that's not slick back. And then they put it in a pony. No. I think I can find something. Like Derrick Henry's rat tail? Ugh. Is that what you're talking about? That is the grossest hair in the world. Not just even in the NFL. <laughs> in the world. The whole world. It's disgusting. <laughs> then then him and then Aaron Rodgers. No, black guy, no black guy slick their hair back. That, <laughs> that doesn't happen. Not slick back, I guess. <laughs> well, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> the only reason I know Rick Rubio is because how you always say his name. It's never just Rick Rubio. It's Rick Rick Rubio. Rick Rick Rubio. Yeah, <laughs> every time. Like Su Su Studio, the song. Oh, is that what you're doing? Yes. Oh, I've never known that. You've always said his name the same way Rick, every time. Rick Rubio. <laughs> yeah. bim, 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 bim. <laughs> You know that song? No. Susu Studio? I don't think so. Is that a word? My talents are wasted living with lace. <laughs> I think you just make this shit up. So. Rubio, out with an ACL tear. PG, out for three to four weeks. We talked about AD, out four weeks with an MCL sprain. Zion Williamson, who's nobody's been talking about recently. No timetable for his return. He had that foot surgery, re-aggravated it. Apparently, it's refractured. Oh, Jesus. No timetable for his return. Will Zion ever be the same? Mm, no. I don't know. He's like 300 pounds Is he now. the one that blew the shoe? Yeah. 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 I'd sue. Can you believe that team did not win a national championship? No. They had RJ Barrett. Yeah. They had Zion. They had Tyus Jones. They did not win the national championship. That's unreal. That is unreal. It's crazy. Because Zion was so good at college. Yes, he was. Okay, enough NBA. That's it. <laughs> uh, moving over to the NHL lace in the Atlantic, we got the Tampa Bay Lightning, 21-6-4, and, and they've won four straight. <laughs> Pulled ahead of those Toronto Maple Leafs, who are in second at 28-2. Wow. Yeah, that's right. Holy. And third, we got the Florida Panthers at 18-7-4, and, and they've lost three straight lace. Mm. Wheels. That's Wheels' team right there. He said they're going to win it all. That's right. I mean, they're still in good shape. <laughs> uh, moving over to the Metro Lace, we got the Carolina Hurricanes. 21-7-1, <laughs> and one, sitting in first. Second, we got the Washington Capitals at 18-6-7. And, and third, we got the New York Rangers at 19-7-4. and four. <laughs> But in fourth, we got the Pittsburgh Penguins, who are 17-8-5, and, and they have won seven in a row. Wow! The pens. Congratulations. Pens are coming back. That Metro is a tricky division. Yeah. There's a lot of good teams in there. Yeah. 
And in the Central and first, we got the Minnesota Wild Lace at 19-9-2. They have lost four straight, though. Uh-oh. Not good. Bad news. Second, we got the Nashville Predators in 19-10-1. They've won seven. Wow. Seven in a row. Seven's a good number. Sure. Getting sevens all over the place. Good number. Winning seven, losing seven. And in third, we got the St. Louis Blues. <laughs> 17.95. And no one cares because they're from St. Louis. No one cares. No one at all. <laughs> Everyone hates St. Louis. In the Pacific Lace, we got the Las Vegas Golden Knights oh. sitting atop the Pacific at 21 and 12. And second, we got the Anaheim Ducks. Those pesky ducks. Those pesky ducks sitting in second at 17.9 and 6. Third, we got the Calgary Flames at 15, 7, and 6. They've lost four straight games. Oh, I was hoping it was seven. Four straight. <laughs> Not that I don't like Calgary, but... Fifth, sorry, and fourth, we got the uh, Edmonton Oilers at 18-11-0. They've won two straight. So That's good. After they rattled off six straight losses, I believe. So, And they just had the two softest games before this COVID break. Oh, really? They played Seattle and... Arizona, maybe. Mm -hmm. Like, just garbage teams. So, that's right what they needed to get right. Yeah. So. And in seventh place in that Pacific, we got the Vancouver Canucks at 14, 15, and 2. Oh. What? They needed to be 500 at Christmas. They sit around 500. And they are. Yeah. They've won six that. straight. Wow. Boudreau. Yeah. It's a Boudreau effect. Have they won every game on your head? Yes. Every games that they played? Yeah. Six. Oh, okay. Yeah, they're six for six. Look at them. I think they play tonight. Huh. Maybe we'll watch. Doubt it. Doubt it. If there's basketball, I'd much rather watch basketball. I have equipment I have to set up. No. I'm so tired. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting to use that one all Yeah, day. I haven't been a baby yet. <laughs> now Just you now. Have. Now you are a little whiny baby. <laughs> Your head just gets tired of looking at screens and stuff. No. Nope. Took down Christmas today, though, so that's done. Yeah, that's done. So that's a good thing. See you, Christmas. Bye. Boxed up for another year. <laughs> Sayonara, bitches. <laughs> Were you done? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, that's it. That's it. I thought maybe I went on a tangent and you were in the middle of there. Anything you want to plug, Lace? No. No. Lace hates plugging things. <laughs> hates promoting her own business. <laughs> If you need leggings, let me know. That's all you do, eh? <laughs> you should really put some thought into it. I really should. And every time you ask me, I'm like, one day I'm going to be prepared. Never, though. Never am. Never. Hey, maybe with our new little thing, I'll put a little commercial on there. That'd be a good idea. That would be a good idea. I'm going to make a I commercial, too. It's going to be me juggling chainsaws with a turban on. <laughs> I could be juggling crystal balls. Okay. That's, a That's actually idea. a good idea. Yeah. But I don't think you need a turban. I mean, I you should maybe wear I, a helmet. I You're juggling. I don't know how that will fit into the show. <laughs> <laughs> but people will watch it. I guarantee it. Oh, well, it's going to be great. We can really get our creative juices oh, flowing here. I'm scared. We're going to be... That's what we're going to do for entertainment. It's like date night in the office. Make commercials. Making commercials. It's going to be great. Okay, ladies. So on that note, I have nothing else. No, and we've been over an hour, so... Fuck. Just. Okay. Not bad. Well, that's not bad. No, it's not. Everyone, thanks for having us back. Thanks for making us a part of your day. And we'll be back Friday. Yep. N maybe new and improved. Maybe. We'll see. Keep an eye on our social media. Yeah, we'll let you know. We'll keep you in the loop. As always, you can catch us here. YouTube. Spotify. Wherever you get your podcasts, it doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, I forget. There's so many different places yeah, that host podcasts. It's crazy. Yeah. So, on that note, everyone, have a beautiful Wednesday evening. Stay warm. We got minus 39, feels like minus 49 tonight. So, I'm going to go build a fire and pit in. Yeah. And on that note, we're out. <laughs>